Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the scrap room and I have got a flavors of the month kit that is, um, it's for fancy pants, amber autumn. And the flavors of the month kits come with two pieces of cardstock and three pieces of pattern paper that are from the same collection. So this one's Dinnias and Daisies. This one with a cute little check, it's called Flo uh, Flora and Fauna. And then this one with our pumpkins, this is called Delicate Fern. And then I've got two pieces, a big swirl. We have one of the sticker sheets and this is one I have with the alpha. I've got some foam bits and I've got a few enamel dots. So I have some really nice finishing touches. Now, where's my photo? Oh, here's a photo I thought I would use. This is a picture of Blue when he was a baby and we just so happen to have gotten Mr. Blue in the autumn. There's a tiny, tiny strip that I wanted to trim. And look at how cute, he used to have blue eyes. That's why he's blue. Not very creative, I know, but he was a beautiful little puppy and he liked crunching on the big giant leaves and I thought he was so pretty. I will map this with a scrap of white cardstock. Um, one of our other kits actually has white cardstock, but I don't think I'm gonna break into that. I'll just, like, I just have this like, little scrap here. So I'll go ahead and map that. And I think I'm going to use a piece of this fig swirl for my background. So I'm going to move the other one for now. So let me go ahead and I'm also going to cut this um, 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. The reason why I'm doing that is I'm just running on blind faith <laughs> that I will have some paper that ends up wanting me to use it to map my layout. So that's what we're doing with that. Okay. Sometimes you just got to go for it and see where it takes you. Now, I loved the pinks in this collection. I think they're so darn pretty. So what I thought, I'm going to mat that. What I thought I would do is take this and I grabbed just a couple of Distress Oxides that are from my stash. And they were totally vibing the pinky tones for me. This one looks like that raspberry tone too. Hmm. And I thought I would just grab, let's see. I was going to grab this really not entirely pink little bit. And I thought I would just do a little ink blending. I don't do that generally with my layouts, but I was like, you know, sometimes you're thinking about it and here we are. Now I'm starting from the middle because I know that I want kind of a centered design. So we're only going to see a little bit of the ink blending. So if I have it too blotchy, that will be in the center and I diffuse out from there. So, and I'm going to do it with the two different colors merely because I find that it's just a little more interesting to me. There we go. Not a big deal. Little bit there. So it's like a pink cotton candy cloud is going on and I'm thinking of using rather small amounts see how it's more interesting the moment you put another of the same color on like it's either a tone or a shade different and all of a sudden you're like oh well that's kind of pretty so it's like a happy little kitsch flamingo e kind of cloud okay so not that I'm teaching any kind of an ink blending class, but I thought I would tell you a little bit about what I was doing here. Okay, not a big deal. Little here, little there. Let me get a little extra here. Great. We're not even going to see hardly any of that, and that's fine. Um, let me move my inks out of the way. And then with some of our papers, some are quite vibrant. Some are a little bit more low key does not matter either way. I think I'm going to just go ahead and get a little random with the size of a cut. I want the edges torn and I'm just going to add a few of these patterns. Why not? So I have that one. This one's super interesting with these different shades and tones on it. Look at it guys. We've got all of these leafy bits. Ooh, and I can use the flip side 
for, um, I'm gonna do the same thing so I can use a little bit of these pumpkin shades because I think it's just so interesting where they went with this. And you know, maybe we'll see some of it. Maybe we won't, I don't know. And then finally we've got this floral, same exact thing. I just wanna kinda see which ones I want to use, but I'm definitely feeling anything even slightly fallsy because we ended up with this baby in the autumn time. So there we go, I like that. I'm gonna do a little bendy bend on these because I like the texture and the dimension that we get. And I'm going to go ahead and pop them on. Now, you're like, I cannot believe you took this beautiful kit and you're just bending and torturing. Oh yes, I am. It, it lends itself for me so much with autumn layouts because like things are crinkly or taking a walk at least. I mean, I'm in like the Midwest, kind of like in the North Midwest. Things are crinkly and just a little prettier and ugh, it's such a beautiful time of year. All right, so I'm going to get a few of these on. Now, is there one more? You know, I think I'd like to use a tiny bit more of the plaid so that I have five and I can layer them just, just a little bit. The plaid is gorgeous. We've got a little bit of the blue in there. It's so pretty. Why am I cutting that when I'm gonna rip the edges? I don't know. I do not know. Does not make the sense. Okay, so we've got some of this gorgeous plaid. Breaking it up is the point. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, layer them all up, pop them on. If I have to tear something, I will. I need to mat this and then we'll look at these pieces and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, so I've got these pieces on. I think they're so pretty. There's stuff going on. Now I've got this sweet little deer and we have deer in our front yard, our backyard, our everywhere constantly. I'm not fully putting that on top of the photo yet. We're gonna see how that evolves. So I have a sweet little deer. I've got these bright pink, gorgeous pumpkins. We can pop that there. Super pretty still. Flowers, warmth. I don't know what my title will be yet. And then these little bits, I'm gonna wait to see what we have in the pattern paper kit to see where this is going. So let me grab that. Let me grab the pattern paper kit. I mean, I just let these things evolve and I think it is so fun to do it that way. Okay, y'all look at these. So I've got this, this is called Dahlia Day. Pretty, I love that pink. And then this one with the sh mushrooms on it, this is called Friendly Forest. Okay, now I'm loving that green because of the green in my photo. So I think that will be a matte. And I also love this pink. So let's see, because clearly I went with a little pink. I can do a little matte with that and then the larger with the green. I think that is perfect, great. And then let's look at the Shots of Life kit to see, oh, here it is, guys. Here it is. Let me get a little tray. Let me get a little tray to show you the what's what. I've got all of these ephemera pieces. We're gonna tuck everywhere. <gasps> and these leaves. Oh, and we have blue deer, who knew? And a little owl, he's cute. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is a piece of paper. Literally, I can use both sides and I would be so darn happy. Hmm. You know, I'm gonna put it aside for now because I think I'll be, no, wait, 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 wait. Wouldn't it be pretty? to bring in a little bit of that blue by matting my photo with it. All right, that's what I'm gonna do with that. Then once I have all of those things matted, we're gonna start tucking all of these treasures. All right, so let's take a look, guys. Look at some of these pieces. I can't even, it's so, so cute. All right, I've got to use my sweet little owl and that will help because I have the brown over here. Great. Brave the day, no falling for you, absolutely. That would be really cute right there. 
we can have our sweet little pumpkins. Now, keeping in mind, I do want to still try to have, um, I want to still try to have the pink showing. I mean, it's okay if it gets, you know, occluded a bit, but the point is to have the pretty pretty. Oh, maybe this flower, should the flower be down here? Yep, because it's larger, and then we can put that cute little yellowy pumpkin up there. Oh, <laughs> we've got the hilarious little squirrel, but I already have two little critters. So I think we're good with critters. Let's go ahead and get another floral piece. Do we have a smaller one? Like a, a, yep, here we go, perfect. We can pop that pretty little pink floral there. A couple of little leafy bits because he's chewing on the same type of leafy bit. I like that falling for you. That's cute. With the, And I'll make sure to have these little leaves on here. That has some of the turquoise color up there. So I'll make sure that we're showing that. Guys, there's these little cute bits that make a layout come together. I love all of the fun little bits. So I like the idea that you can see that the leaves are falling. So that's why I'm kind of stacking them and placing them and all of that. Let's go ahead and have a leaf coming out from here. So fun. It is so fun. All of these things. Ooh, another pretty little floral. Let's have that. Do we want it to come out like that? I think like that. Okay. So I do have a couple of little tiny bits left that I'm going to wait to put on when I go ahead and use, um, I'm going to scooch the things I'm not using, that I want to wait to put on when I'm putting on the enamel dots. It's, you know, what fills in the clusters a little bit and helps to tell the story. All right, so we've got little leaves. I think that's going to do it. I'm going to put those up there. I have those there. Do I like that? I like it like that. Okay, great. I'm going to get these things tacked down, but let's take a look at the embellishment kit. Oh my gosh. Okay. The embellishment kit. We have half of the sticker sheet that I think is fabulous. There's that, the, what is the deal with how cute that squirrel is? The artwork is kind of hilarious. Okay. So we've got these pieces, like this little acorn bit absolutely gorgeous to have sticking out from behind here great and then see one of the things that's really fun with the way I like to do this is I don't look at the other product it just builds and builds so you know if I were to start with the entire kit I would of course look at it differently so I think it's a really fun process just to see all the things you have all right, I want to get these things down and then the little fun bits and pieces we will add to the layout. So give me a minute to get all of these goodies on and we'll show you this finished up. All right, my friends, that is this layout finished. I think it's so cute and so sweet. I am loving it. Now, the only thing I'm going to think to do, I'm going to cover my photo. I don't even know if this is going to work. It's just popped in my head. Thinking I was going to see if I can do some reverse splatty bits. Now I don't have gesso or anything on this, so it might not work. It's basically where if you have distress ink, sometimes you can do splatty bits on it with water. Let it sit for a second and then pull them up. I'm just gonna see if it'll work. If it doesn't, it's okay, not a big deal. So let's let it sit, la, 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 la. Jeopardy song. And then let's see if any of them will pull. It is, okay, so I am doing some reverse splatty bits just for a little bit of extra interest. See how fun that is? All right, let's go ahead and do that one more time. I don't have a lot of room down here, but it's just gonna add to the uh, kind of messiness of autumn. The crunchy, the rain, all of the things that we think of with autumn in my area at least, come on. Now, it's not like I can totally direct where this water is going, so I'm doing my best. Okay, I think we have enough on there. And then I will show you my finished layout. Now, guys, I'm going to have links down below, as I always tell you, 
for the website. So you can subscribe to the kits for the Facebook group as well as the blog. So you can see all of the hubbub that is going on with the Scrap Room Kit Club. All right, let me go ahead and get those pieces off. But see, there you go. Fun little splatty bit technique and all kinds of gorgeousness from this collection. All right, guys, I'll have a few still shots to follow and I will see you ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.